Hi everyone, today's video is a cable calculation more aimed at the level 3 student. We are only going to be using the BS7671. We won't be using the on-site guide today. So on your screen, you can see our question. A um, few things that we need to be a little bit wary of here now. We've, it says there that it is 400 volts and we've got SWA cable. So being three phase, there is a different way of calculating the IB and because it is SWA cable, we need to ensure we're looking at the correct tables within BS7671. So let's get started on this one. So I'm going to read through the question and I'm going to write down all of the information that we need to complete our cable calculation. So let's start from the beginning. So a circuit supplying a 9 kilowatt. So there's our power. So power is 9,400 volts. Volts is 400. And it is to be wide in SWA. SWA. 70 degree, thermoplastic, clip direct. There's our install method. Clip direct. Length, 43 meters. Uh, cable will pass through a thermal insulated wall of 100 mil. So there's CI, 100 mil. And the ambient temperature is 35, that's CA. 35 degrees C. Uh, protection is by a Type C uh, circuit breaker to BSCN 60898. So that's our protected device it wants me to use. A Type C MCB. And that is all of the information that our question gives us. That's all we need, so let's get on with our cable calculation. So our first step, IB. Now, if you've gone onto the website and you've downloaded the cable calculation guide, then we are going to be doing steps one to eight, and step one tells you all of the different ways of working out that IB. So when we've got a three-phase circuit, our IB will be 9,000 over square root of 3 times 400. So that's our box. So that's power, divide square root of 3 times box. When you punch this into your calculator, be wary that you don't end up square rooting the whole of the bottom part. You don't want to square root the times 400 as well. And with some rounding, that comes in at 12.99, so we'll round that to 13 amps. Our next step is selecting our IM. So we know we've got to use a type C MCB. Now we need to find out what size, what amp rating MCB is closest, 13 amps or closest to. So we need our little shopping list again. Uh, now, I have plenty of places to find these, this information in BS7671. I like to use the uh, Max ZS tables. For this one, I'm going to look for MCBs. I'm going to look at table 41.3 on page 68. And the middle column, the middle row sorry, of this table is Type C circuit breakers to BSEN 60898 and RCBOs. And we look along the uh, first column under type CMCVs, and it's 6, 10, 16, 20. They're my amp ratings. So I've got a 16 amp, and that is table 41.3 to reference that. So I have 16 amp type C MCB. That was table 41.3. Our next step is to work out the IZ. And we need all of the C factors for that. So, 
Let's do our first one. That was C I. C I. Now all of the C factors in your uh, BS seven six seven one, they're right towards the back. They are uh, in appendix four. Our C factors and the annoyingly the CI value is a couple of pages before all of the others. So we are on page 423 and you can see the table here. Cable surrounded by thermal insulation CI. So we have 100 mil of insulation and our D rating factor is 0 0.78. So let's drop that down. That was 0 0.78 and we need to reference that. So that was appendix 4 and that was 2.6. Regulation 2.6 in Appendix 4. Our next C factor was CA. Again, we're in Appendix 4. Now I'm looking at page 441. The top table, table 4B1, rating factor CA for ambient air temperature. Our ambient air temperature for this question was 35 degrees. So go down column one, 35 degrees, and over to column three, which was 70 degree thermoplastic cable, and we find our D rating factor 0.94. So let's go write that down. 0.94. And we reference the table. That was table uh, 4B1. Now to gain those valuable extra marks in your cable calculation question, we always have CF. Now remember, if you have a BS3036 protected device, your C factor, your CF factor is 0 0.725 and it does tell you that in the on-site guide uh, sorry in the BS7671 and that is in your symbols section we've got uh, on page 64 it tells you um, where to look. So we've got top of page um, 46, sorry. We've got CF, rating factor for semi enclosed fuse to BS3036. And this is Appendix 4, Section 3. That's where it gives you that information. But hopefully, that's something you'll start to remember by now on level 3. So if we are not using a uh, 3036, our CF factor is always 1. Now, we can't really reference that, so I have just put not a BS3036. That's why we know it's 1. So now we can do our IZ. So our IZ is IN over all of our C factors. So let's drop that equation down. So it's 16 over 0 0.78 times 0 0.94 times 1. Now I'm fully aware by adding this 1 at the bottom, 16 divided 1 will not change. 16 divided 1 equals 1, uh, equals 16, sorry. But we're trying to gain as many marks as we can. So that's why I always put it in. And punch that into your calculator. And you will get 21.82 amps. 
Now we need to find our IT and we need it 22 amps or above. So go to our IT tables, our IT tables, go right towards the back from our IT tab, and they start on page 448, our IT tables. And we need to go along and find the table that says um, SWA. So let's start by having a little look. So we've got single core, non-armoured, multi-core, non-armoured, single core, non-armoured, and we have now multi-core armoured cable. So I'm on page 454. Multi-core armoured 70 degree thermoplastic insulated cables. Now we were, our reference method, we were clipped direct for reference method C. So we are looking at columns two and three. Column two says single phase, column three says three phase. So we are looking at column three. And we wanted 23 or above. So if I go down, I immediately I find, or the second one down is 25. And I go along to column one to find the conductor cross-sectional area, and that is 2.5. So let's put the on-site guide over there. Let's drop these numbers down. So IT equals 25. And I had 2.5 mil cable. And that table, reference to table, was 4D, 4D, 4A. Now we need the MVAM. So we go back to our on-site guide, uh, sorry, back to our BS 7671. To the top table, they come as a pair. Top page, this one, is my IT. Page below will be my MVAM for my volt drop. So I am looking at the top row, we've got a cross-sectional area, two core cable DC, two core cable single phase, and then column four says three phase. Three or four core cable, three phase. So we're looking at this last, we are in column four, and we go down to our 2.5 mil cable, <clears throat> and we see our MVAM value is 15. So let's draw that down. So we've got M V A M equals fifteen. That was table four D four B. Now we can move on to our volt drop. Now the volt drop formula isn't written down in a big book in BS 7671 like it is in the on-site guide. So hopefully you can just start remember it by now. So our volt drop is MVAM times IB times length over a thousand. Volt drop. So let's input those values. So we say again. I, uh, volt drop equals IB, which was um, uh, sorry uh, MVAM sorry, which was 15 times our IB, which is 13 times the length, which was 43 over a thousand. Punch that into your calculator, you get 8.39 volts. Now, is this volt drop allowed? It does seem pretty high. Um, in the big book, BS7671, it does tell you about volt drop 
uh, on append or in appendix four. So let's go to appendix four. In appendix four, um, and it is around this page. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm straight onto it. Yeah, page four thirty. And we've got this our volt drop table, table 4AB. And it says low voltage insulations supplied directly from a public low voltage distribution system. Lighting is 3%, other uses 5%. So we are uh, not doing lighting because we're doing a three phase system, a three phase circuit. You don't get a three phase lighting circuit. So we are 5%. So let's drop that down. So 5% of our voltage, remember we're 400. So 5% of 400 is 20. Let's make a little note. So max allowed, so it's right at the bottom of the page, max allowed is 20 volts. And that's correct, brilliant. We can now move on to our next step. And the page now, our last, our last bit of cable calculation. Remember, it's not really a formula, it's more like a statement, isn't it? Uh, IB is equal to or less than IN, which is equal to or less than IT. Let's input our value. So that was 13, and sine was 16, and our I. N was 25. Uh, I T, so it was 25. So is 13 equal to a less than 16? Which it is, and 16 equal to a less than 25. Which it is, and that is correct. And there we have it. So our correct size cable for this question would be 2.5 mil life. And that was how we do cable calculations just using the BS7671. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do. And there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level 2 and level 3 in electrical installation. Now, if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, Visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers. He or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.